So this is a different kind of morph synthesis. Um, we occasionally use, we usually use the microwave or the oven method, but this is called the oil bath synthesis. So the ingredients are the same as before. You need a metal salt, in which I'll use zirconium chloride for in this case. And this is the ligand solution. And this will be the solvent you will use, which is, we usually use DMF, but in this case I use diethylformamide, which is, the, which is uh, called DEF. So first, in order to weigh the metal salt, you must first set the balance. Uh, the round bubble is right at the center of the circle. So you can see that it's set. If it isn't, you can rotate these um, legs at the bottom to make this um, balance go up or down. Okay. So first you turn on the power and you wait for it, the numbers to appear and then you put the weighing dish, weighing dish inside the balance and you can see that the number goes up. So it's much more convenient if you use the tear button. This is called, um, you use it for setting this, um, what do you call it? Making it to zero. Because tear button deducts the weight of the weighing dish. So in the case of metal salts, they usually have the characteristic of being hydrated when put in atmospheric conditions. So you should first put the metal salt you should first weigh the metal salt and put this in the refrigerator as quick as possible. So we use the spatula to get scrape off the powder and put it on the weighing dish. But before that, you need to first sanitize the spatula with ethanol. After we clean this end of the spatula, we put the metal salt. into <laughs> So when you put the metal salt into the weighing dish you must be aware that the amount of the reactants mustn't be lesser than the one listed in the, pap in the paper you're referring to. So we usually exceed the amount that's written in the paper. So in my case, we had to use 0 0.0596 grams, but I put 0 0.0607. Because when we scrape off um, the reactants into um, the reacting spot, and there might be leftover powder in the weighing paper, a weighing dish. So we have to measure the weight of that too in order to get an accurate amount. So you must record the amount that you used and you should make it like this and scrape it. So this is all the reactants combined into one the metal salt, the ligand, and the solvent. So we're now going to put it in the oil bath, but before that, we're gonna stir it once to make the reactants mix well before they react with each other. So when you do an oil bath synthesis, you need to put this stirring bar into the round flask and then stir it while heating it up. The stirring helps the reactants um, collide or combine with each other more often. So we put this here and then we... So in the case of oil bath, you must first lower the heater and then insert.
can tighten the grab of the round flask with this lever in the right and left. So once you tighten it up, you can now um, increase the altitude. So in the case of oil bath synthesis, you synthesize it in a reflux condition. Um, when you stir it, you can see that the top part is wide open, right? So the solvent can um, evaporate or vaporize. In order to prevent that, you install this water column and there's water out in the outer part of the layer of the column so that this could um, turn back into liquid and then a drop back. So this process is called, this condition is called the reflux condition. In the process of synthesis, in the paper, like a lot of times it'll say, um, stir it under oil bath conditions in 100 degrees for one hour. But 100 degrees for one hour doesn't mean that the temperature set, you should set the temperature to 100 degrees and make one hour, it's not that. It starts from the point where the um, thermometer reaches 100 degrees. In my case, it's 120 degrees, 15 minutes. So it hasn't reached 110 degrees, 20 degrees yet, right? So the 15 minute count hasn't started yet. In order to increase the temperature more fastly, you must increase the heat involved. And then the temperature will go up higher. Once you've reached your desired temperature, your counting start starts from that point. And you should always check if the temperature doesn't exceed your desired one, where it doesn't um, go under. You can see that the color changed from black, sort of black, to like a purplish color. 